not because you, you feel as if you may be the national broadcast of, 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 of the country. Uh, you automatically uh, will be chosen. And I say to ZNS, go and do your work. Let's go. Be great. That's Lyndon Maycock, CEO of the local organizing committee of the 50th Carifta Games, who says they are aligning themselves with greatness. And for that reason, Alive has been named the official communications and broadcast sponsor for the regional meet. There was a bidding process that was presented by two of our major communications uh, companies here in the Bahamas. And Cable Bahamas, Alive, uh, would have won that bid. The rights coming in at a hefty price tag, some $289,000 to be exact. Sadness General Manager Andrew Burrows, on the other hand, is denying that claim. He is calling for authorities to lay the facts on the table, noting that the LOC in Zedness has never had a conversation about the broadcasting of the Golden Jubilee Games. In terms of uh, any bidding process or whatever, that is absolutely untrue. And if, if it were the case, then I would invite Mr. Maycock to put in the public domain um, anything that indicated rights were given to ZNS or offered to ZNS via a bid. There was no bid. It's a scene played out at the most recent Junkanoo parades, prompting a battle of the broadcast. Burroughs contends while ZNS enjoys competition, certain events should be left to the national broadcasting station. In terms of live broadcast of Carifta and, and similar events, that's in our history. We have it. We've done it. We can do it. We have the expertise and also the resources to do it. Maycock, however, assuring that ZNS will be given a stream to broadcast the event. And I encourage ZNS to go out and make the millions of dollars that they are able to do with respect to getting a clean feed of these games. And so uh, it's it's competition, and Alive would have won based on what they would have presented. During the 2022 Boxing Day Junkanoo Parade, Zadna's customers were redirected to RTV for its live broadcast. It's an action pending lawsuit and disciplinary action from Urker, and something that the Broadcasting Corporation says they will not tolerate. However, Delmaro Duncombe of the Cable Bahamas Group of Companies assures that Zadna's stream will go uninterrupted. In fact, before the Boxing Day, Parade was finished, we worked with all those teachers. And so, with that being said, uh, we don't anticipate any challenges uh, with anyone wanting to visually take part in the, these 50th Carifta Games in terms of broadcasting. Now, the Carifta Track and Field Games will take place here at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium over the Easter holiday weekend. It's a weekend that will bring hundreds of athletes, officials, and fans here to the Bahamas, of course, from around the region and around the world. They will take part in history as the game celebrates its 50th anniversary. Devontae Hanna, Eyewitness News.